Hi everyone, let's begin McNamara test. McNamara test, it is a param non-parametric test and uh, where when we have data, it is categorical data. That is dichotomous data. We do not have continuous data and uh, our data is not normally distributed. So we are going to apply McNamara test and pair data. Data should be paired. Pair data means what? Paired nominal data means we're talking about, suppose you want to check students' marks uh, after providing them one specific kind of coaching, one specific kind of training, you want to check whether there is any improvement in their marks or not. So you are going to apply paired. This kind of data, we have paired data. So McNamara test, it is a non-parametric test. And uh, this test is used on paired nominal data. And this data would be nominal data. That means categorical data we are using. And at this is applicable on dichotomous data. We can say dichotomous also. When you have taken response to either yes or no, I mean only two categories of the data. And it's applied to two by two contingency table with match pairs of the subjects. And it follows chi-square distribution to find out whether row or column marginal frequencies are same. So these are the some assumptions where we are going to apply McNamara test. And now we have taken one example over here. And uh, there is, you can see, I have taken total number of 45 respondents data, students data, because I want to check their pre-marks Pre marks means when I have not provided them any sort of coaching, any sort of training. And I have recorded these marks, but these marks only one and two. I mean, these are, this is not the continuous data. This is the dichotomous data and one and two only. I had given and uh, post marks means after providing them training, then I have recorded their marks again, one and two. Again, it is a dichotomous data. So you can see both these variables carrying uh, dichotomous data, categorical data, and nothing is here is continuous data. So this is my hypothesis. Let me take this hypothesis. There is no significant improvement in the marks of the students. Suppose we, 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 we are presuming this thing after providing this training, there is no significant improvement in the marks of the students. So we have to check through a uh, McNamara test. And uh, I have already shown you in my previous video through SPSS how we have to check McNamara and definitely I'm going to share this link in my description box in this video. So first of all, you have to go through this data, the, the, this video also. And uh, after that, you have to go through the same test how we have to apply in R. So now what we have to do are let me clean all these my windows and uh, that would be, uh, I'm sure there would be more clarity to you. And I'm just closing this sheet also. This, this, this one is the file also. So let me call a file that is my SPSS file. And uh, let me browse this and uh, where I had put it, this file in my R Studio and McNamara test. And in McNamara test, this is my SPSS file. Let me open this file. And I had opened this file. And now I have, I'm going to import this file. Now you can see here, this is, there are the three columns, serial number, pre and post. And uh, you can see McNamara test 45 observations of three variables. So we can check whether there is the 45 uh, variables, 45, sorry, observations. Yes, we have, see. Now what we have to do, First of all, let me create uh, one variable over here. I'm an MCN that could be more, will be a more relevant name. And rather than again and again, I would write this one is the bigger name, McNamara underscore test. So what I have to do, I would convert this file into this variable. McNamara, sorry. Yeah, McNamara test. And let me press enter. So now you can see MCN, this variable is created over here, right? And now what I have to do rather than again, again, I will use dollar sign. So that, that method uh, more convenient to me. Um, I feel more convenient. So what I will do, both these variables, pre and post, 
I can create a one pre variable over here. And from this MCN, and let me write this is the MCN, let me write dollar sign and this pre variable I will put in this variable pre. And uh, then after that, I have to write post. And again, I will press uh, equal sign MCN, and uh, dot again, I have to write dollar sign dollar sign and let me write post and this variable also I had created over here. Now, now because this McNamara test that is applicable on the table because because uh, your data should be tabular in the tabular form rather than it we, it is creating uh, themselves. So what we have to do here is I'm going to create a table, right? T I had given just a just symbol. T A B L E, right? This 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 function we are going to use, and I have to write simply pre comma post, pre comma post. So this I need this table. Let me press enter. So simply you have to write T, and then you have to press enter. You can see here pre and post. That is the two by two uh, contingency table I had created. Here is the left hand side. You can see pre right one and two and post one and two right and uh, one means we can i mean we can say i will show you my this uh, file also let me okay right so one means we can say i mean uh, these students uh, um, doesn't have any improvement but two means they have improvement right i mean or these are Pay, fail or pass right in that way so what we have to do now i'm going to apply mcnamara test here is simply i have to write mcnamara test and i will use this function and what argument i'm going to give t right and simply i have to press enter so now you can see mcnamara chi squared test with continuity continuity co co correction and you can see here this one is the magnema test and simply we have to copy this data and we have to press in my word document but here is first of all you can see chi squared value is 7.11 and degree of freedom 1 p value is 0 0.007 so that means our value is less than 0.0 five so that means we can say we are going to reject a uh, null hypothesis and we are going to accept alternate hypothesis alternate hypothesis said there is significant significant difference um in the groups of the marks uh, after providing them training so i'm sure both these things you have to report here here is this is my spss data and i would like to compare this data with spss data also and i'm going to put both these values over there right so this is my r studio result I would just highlight them. These are my R Studio result. Magnema chi square 7.1 degree of freedom 1 and p value is 0 0.007. So here is my value is p value is less than 0 0.05. So I would say uh, alternate hypothesis is accepted and null hypothesis is rejected. And the same, I think, same results I have received from SPSS, but significance 0 0.004 and here is 0 0.007. 0 0 and uh, you can see here, right pre and post results are here and through this also interpretation if the significant value is greater than 0 0.05 then fail to reject null hypothesis and if the significant value is less than 0 0.05 then reject null hypothesis and same thing i did in this case and in my r studio uh, in this r studio values so i'm sure this um this this video would be helpful to you and uh, keep watching. Thank you so much.